Morning everybody, uh, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Um, it's great to see you. My name is Dave. I am married to Michelle. I'm part of the staff at Audacious Church. I've got two great children and we're currently part of the South Manchester location. Uh, we've been at Audacious Church for about 12 years now. Um, and I'm also one of the few Mancunian voices you're ever going to hear at church, which is, I don't know if that's good or bad. Barry Bolton, they don't count. Anyway, I just upset a few people there. Um, the, today I've got a verse and also a challenge that I want to share with you. The verse is something that you will know you've heard before many times, but it was it's relevant to what I want to say today. Um, and I'm going to read it from the message version. It goes like this. This is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son. And this is why, so that no one need be destroyed. By believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending his son merely to point an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help to put the world right again. So I thought about today's devotion while I was on holiday. We went to Spain this year. It was great. It was hot. It was sunny. We had a great time. Um, while we were there, I wore a wristband. We got a wristband, which meant I was all inclusive. Everything I wanted was there. All the food, all the drink, and also we got access to a water park. So it was free. I just wore the wristband. I got what I want. If you go all inclusive, though, let me warn you, you will probably go up a dress size. I'm not, I'm not going to go up a dress size, but yeah, anyway, you get the point. Um, you got me thinking, though, what else was like this? What else was like, you know, you get given something free, it's all inclusive for everybody. And it's like sort of similar like to what Jesus did for us, isn't it? It's like an all inclusive gift for everybody. Becoming a Christian is made possible by an all inclusive gift that God gave to us. When he, he sent his son Jesus to die for us, um, we don't have to earn it, we don't have to beg for it, we don't have to train for it, we don't even have to pay for it. We just ask. It's a decision you make, it's yours, it's there, it's, that's it. Um, and the best thing about it is that it is an all-inclusive gift. You see the link. Um, it's there for everybody. It's not exclusive, it's inclusive. Not just for specific people, it's for you. That's you who's watching this now. Um, regardless of age, sex, status, bank balance, background, how good you are, how bad you are, it's for everybody. And uh, don't get me wrong, the thing with all-inclusive, when we went, we paid for it up front. And there was also a price to pay for Jesus dying for us on the cross. God sent his son to die. Um, so, but that gift that he gave us gives us eternal life. Now, to put eternal life into perspective, I heard an illustration a few years ago. There's something that stuck with me, I probably when I, when I was a teenager, so it's a few years ago. Um, and I want to share it with you because it puts into perspective what, how, what eternal life is. It goes like this. So how do you explain eternity? It's like an eagle flying to the top of the highest mountain in the world. I, I think it's Everest, although some people might disagree. Uh, once a year, every year, it goes on the same journey. Its wing touches the top of the mountain and it flies away for the rest of its annual journey. So it does it once a year. Now, every time the eagle clips the mountain, it chips a microscopic, microscopic piece of that mountain away. It does this year in, year out, and it takes a long, long, long time for that mountain to be chipped away, eventually to the ground. So eventually the mountain is flattened, and at that point, in all the years it's taken, that's when eternity has only just begun. So that's something to think about. That's eternity. Even if you try to explain it, it's hard, but that, it's only just begun then, after all the years it took. So what's the challenge? Well, it's twofold. Firstly, if you've got no idea what I'm talking about, maybe you just listened, maybe you just thought you were curious, well, who's this guy, whatever. Um, but you need to find out. Ask me if you see me, ask other people, anyone at church who's going to, you know, what a difference being a Christian has made to their life, what difference Jesus has made to their life. Come to church. You know, it doesn't have to be audacious, but obviously you're well more than welcome at audacious this weekend. People will tell you. You ask them, they will give you the full story. Or you could explore Christianity by doing a course like Alpha. Um, I guarantee if you choose to follow Jesus, it is something that is going to be the greatest decision of your life. Um, and it will set you up for eternity, a great eternity. Secondly, if you've already made this decision... Are you doing all you can to share this news with people, your friends, your family, your relatives, your neighbours even? You know, are you shining the light inside of you to show people the difference that God has made in your life? Um, it's the difference between, you know, 
eternity in, in heaven and it's something that we need to share and we need to do something more about. So today I challenge you, talk to the people that you know, invite them to church, share this video even if you want to. Um, but you know, and it's a quote from uh, the film uh, I Bought As Ever, I think it was, and it says, you know, you never know what difference that 20 seconds of insane courage is going to make and who knows something really good can come out of it. So my challenge to you and to everybody is let's go out there and make a difference. We can make a difference and I just, you know, I believe that this gift of eternal life is the greatest gift. So go out there, do it, show it, share it. Let's be active. Hope that this message has blessed you. Hope it's helped you. Hope it's challenged you. Um, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.